Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Now, before we set off on today's little adventure, I got some responsibilities I need to take care of. I need to feed my fish over here. I need to squeak a hello to my space hamster. Now he's shy, so y'all listen up. Squeak. Squeak. <laughs> he's the best. He is the best. Oh man! All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, do what we got to do today. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Well, I mean, to be fair, is there anybody a Cerberus has provided me who does? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Alright, better go check these messages before they start piling up in my inbox again. Encrypted transmission from Elusive Man. Shepard, I see you awakened Okir's Krogan. A dangerous decision, but you've got free reign on this operation. If you're certain he'll be a useful member of the team, you've got my support. We need every weapon we can get in this battle. If this grunt proves unreliable and has to be put down, don't lose the body. He's based at least partially on collector technology and could offer useful genetic data. But again, you are in charge. You're darn right I'm in charge. Everybody's over here questioning my decisions. You know what? I want to see if anybody else has anything to say about Grunt before we move on. You collect stray cats as a kid? Because we really needed a Mega Krogan, so thanks for dragging him home. No, really, any input would be great. I mean, this is a team effort. I'm about the one making all the decisions here. Only person we need to say about was Joker and yep. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, Yeoman. Anyway, let's go ahead and actually before we leave here, I meant to go and like uh, survey, scan some of these systems around here. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that before we move on. Anomaly detected. Oh, we got an anomaly. <laughs> Oh, I overshot it. Scans have found something. Anomaly detected. Surface scans indicate wreckage of a merchant freighter. Configuration unknown. Damage to ship catastrophic. Detecting movement, but no signs of organic life. Uh-oh. Well, we better go check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my scan real quick, and, uh, you know, I'll meet you guys down there. A sandstorm is approaching from the northwest. Proceed with caution. What's up with this generic, uh, VI? But Edie couldn't be programmed into the shuttle? Just talk to me elsewhere. Alright, let's go ahead and invest- I mean, look for stuff to shoot. We're gonna look for stuff to shoot, Grunt. Let's go ahead and investigate. And see if we can figure out what brought this ship down. System status report. Engineering status compromised. Catastrophic damage to primary and secondary cores. Element zero exposure levels critical. Fuel leaks throughout the engineering deck. Navigation status critical. Manual control of navigation impossible. VI control locked out by executive command. Authorization CRAT 43279. Sensor status compromised. Short range sensors offline. Unsafe planetary proximity detected at 0700 hours. Life support compromised. Life support returning to safe levels. VI control locked out by executive command. Authorization CRAT 43279. Shield status normal. Shields holding at 100% integrity. No shield breaches detected. Alright, so nothing breached the shields. And what got them? VI network compromised. Combating potential contagion. VI control of critical systems locked out by executive command authorization CRAT 43279. Communication status compromised. Damage to communications array critical. Activating distress beacon. And that's why we're here. But why would the VI bring down the ship though? That's my question. Because the ship was housing the VI. What good is it going to do here? 
<laughs> Thumping. Grunt. You're a big boy. Forget about stealth whenever you're around. I mean, I know I've said it before, virtual intelligence, more like virtual dumb. Ha! <laughs> I guess that's not really that funny, no. I mean, what, what would the motivation be? Evacuation order. Attention all hands. We are on a collision course and losing systems fast. Report to the escape pods immediately. This is not a drill. Y'all hear that chime? Where's that coming from? Got a shipping manifest. MSV Corsica. Reflective mech armor X6378. 14 crates of reflective mech armor X6378. Source Jarahee Station. Destination ERCS facility. Loki Mechs. 180 Loki Mech Source. Hani Kedar. Experimental Mechanics Division. Destination ERCS facility. YMIR Mech. 1 YMIR Mech Source. Hani Kedar. Experimental Mechanics Division. Destination ERCS facility. So. VI and the Mechs. Damaged Mech Parts. I am curious. I'm curious why the VI would bring the ship down here. What did it hope to accomplish? What is that? Let's find out. Multiple hostiles powering up at your location. Recommend immediate extraction. Oh, here we go, Grunt. This one's for you. When you see robots, they're gonna go beep boop beep boop. When they do that, I want you to go bang bang pow pow. You got me? Here they are. Impact shot. Got him. Targeting. You know what? It's probably be a good idea. Nope, not yet. It'd probably be a good idea to get some of this disruptor ammo going. We're dealing with robots. Lots of robots coming down the hill. Sandstorm activity has reduced visibility to proceed evacuation. Grunt. Okay, I'm. Th listen, Grunt. This is not me hiding. Okay, this is me giving you a chance to shine. I got something for you, big boy. Any day now. Thank you. Dang it. Nice! Oh, nope. You don't get this. Alright, shuttle's in sight. Owie. That my blood on that rock. I got it. Got it. Meant to keep that in my body. Right. Rookie mistake. We're out of here. Time to go. 
All right. Wow. Found no survivors in MSV Corsica wreckage. Deactivated distress beacon. Also found no answers. That's fine. I mean, now that that's out of the way. I'm still kind of curious about it, but it's out of the way. Uh, I think we're pretty much done with this cluster, so we need to figure out where we want to go to next. Something has appeared at Strabo. Investigate abandoned station. You know what? That might be related. We're going to go ahead and make our way back to Strabo after I stop over here for some fuel and some snacks. Jarhe Station. That was the uh, origin point of the mechs and the shipping manifest, right? Let me make sure I, I scan this before we head over. Because I like completion. This is complete. All right, Jarhe Station. Site intel retrieved. Location coordinates, Jarhe Station, Strabo System, Eagle Nebula. Data mining confirms the last reported location of merchant freighter MSV Corsica as the Jarhe Station in the Strabo System. Possibility exists that clues pertaining to the anomaly that caused the mass malfunction of the mechs aboard Corsica can be found aboard Jarhe Station. Wonderful. I didn't mean wonderful, obviously not. Wonderful. Escape Jarhe Station. We just got here. Get it, me? No, we're gonna solve the mystery of Jarhe Station. PDA. Dr. Galwin, at my suggestion, we have cut power to all systems, save critical life support, in hopes that disabling these systems will deny the VI the resources she needs to kill us. This is a temporary solution. We cannot last this out on our own, Dr. Tailson. Well, you're right about one thing, Dr. Tailson. You definitely didn't last this out. Keep telling you, people. Don't trust Alexa. Docking area power restored. Intruders are requested to report to the cargo doors for immediate removal from station. I don't care how helpful she seems. She's out to get you. Uh, obviously, I don't mean that, Alexa. This is all for entertainment purposes. I mean it. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. Oh, it's fine. Power outage detected in the station. Mainframe is locked down for security purposes. This place is very secure. Nobody made it out alive. Dr. Gowan, my firm belief is that the VI is paranoid about the possibility of infection. Current homicidal behavior is likely out of an inflated desire to keep us from shutting it down. I believe that the VI is malfunctioning and that it believes our equipment to be infected by a virus. If we continue to try to shut her down, she will keep trying to destroy us. Maybe our only recourse is to just do nothing and convince her that we're not a threat. Dr. Tailson. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? I can tell you one thing. Your VI is homicidal. You've already done something wrong. He needs to be shut down at that point. Attention all docks personnel. We are expecting a shipment of mech parts from the Hanekidar facility on Kapek, Haskins Titan Nebula. Make sure the VI knows to accept a docking request from the freighter MSV Corsica. Kennings. Well, that didn't end well for anybody. Excuse me. Locked by station VI. Too bad I can't climb through windows. Can't be bothered to climb through windows. Living area power restored. Station control. The living one door enabled. 
Three doors enabled. Two doors enabled. Five doors enabled. Okay. Well, I have no idea what I did there, but I think that just further confirms my genius. So, I mean, if that was any kind of security, y'all need to step your game up. You got folks like me coming along and just bypassing it without giving it a second thought. Nothing in here. All intruders intentionally violating quarantine are requested to exit the station immediately. Oh yeah, believe me. I'm gonna do that at my earliest possible convenience. Huh. Plasma venting in progress. Attempting to reach the maintenance controls will most likely result in serious injury or death. No, we're fine. Another PDA. Kennings, I'm positive that the trouble with our VI started after the Corsica docked with us. Tailson is looking into the VI itself. In the meantime, I need you to go through the logs and find out everything that was on that ship. Dr. Galwin. Huh. Kasumi. No, I did not come here to rob the dead. You just have to fund the mission. No, it's not that extravagant thievery you like to do. Everybody's a critic. Heavy fire. Oh my goodness. Careful, guys. You being careful? No. That's what you get for criticizing me. Too worried about that. Not worried enough about the steam. All attempts to decontaminate station have failed. Require more power to escalate defenses. Yeah, that stuff's hot, ain't it? I'll leave y'all to think about just how hot that is. For a minute. Making me tear through my metagel. Maintenance area power restored. I need to shut off the steam. Alright, good. Welcome back. You owe me a metagel. Each. I also there take four fatalities on this station in the last week. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. I also take donations of uh cold hard credits. Cute fluffy little space rodents. In case you don't have the meta gel to spare. There are options. Research area power restored. Beam engaged. Testing area has been locked down according to protocol M29-2. Hello, computer. Hello, computer. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Oh, it's a puzzle. Testing area has been unlocked. Wonderful. All personnel take this opportunity to leave the station immediately. Ooh, gonna have to pass on that one. We've come too far to leave now. Hub area power. Hub area power restored. Central mainframe access granted. Docked Ooh. vessel detected. Attempting to upload central programming into docked vessel's mainframe. No, 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 no. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. This is a secure zone. Please leave this station immediately. I regret to inform you that all attempts to defend the station have failed. Shutting down security protocols. Mission complete. Deactivated Jarahi Station security protocols. Escape the station. But still, we never figured out what caused everything. You know what? I got a feeling we're going to be making another stop at that, uh, Hane Kidar facility or whatever. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Great! I was just about to ask you. 
MSV Corsica, last known docking coordinates from ED. Information acquired. Location coordinates, Jerahe Station, Strabo, Eagle Nebula. Data mining confirms, I think we've already read this prior to going to Jarahe Station, right? Yeah. Source of VI virus detected from ED. Information received. Planet information, KPEC, Haskin system, Titan Nebula. Data from the quarantine VI at Jarahe Station indicates that a possible source of the VI virus outbreak is a Hane Kedar facility on the planet KPEC. Coordinates have been downloaded into the galaxy map. Well, wonderful. This episode has taken a turn, but I like it. So we know our next destination. Let's get there. Now, before we touch down, this should be an assignment. Yeah. A Hane Kedar facility on planet Capic, Haskin System Titan Nebula, seems to be the source of the VI virus that has infected mechs and mech parts all over the sector. Stopping the production line is key to ending the outbreak. Land on planet Capic, Haskin System Titan Nebula, and shut down the Hane Kedar production line. With pleasure. And not just because it's virus infected, because I don't approve of having robots being in charge of life and death anyway. Anomaly detected. She'd say anomaly? Be warned. The experimental mechanics facility is under quarantine. Probe away. For your safety, do not dock. Scans have found something. Anomaly detected. Surface scan detects mech production facility matching the registration parameters of Hane Kedar Corporation. Facility reports emergency lockdown at this location. Personnel scans report no living beings detected. Hazard scans show a large number of virus-infected mechs quarantined within the facility. Deactivation of the primary production line controls should disrupt the creation of additional infected mechs. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head down there in just a minute. But, uh, first things first. I need resources. All right, got Doc and Grunt here with me. I figure, you know, Doc Smart, if anybody knows how to shut this thing down, it's him. And if anybody knows how to smash these things, it's Grunt, right? Let's go ahead and get our disruptor ammo on before we even get started. And it might be a good idea to go ahead and reshortcut my flashbangs. Because there's no point in keeping the incendiaries mapped. I mean, we haven't used them at all. In this episode, anyway. And the flashbangs are something I want available in the middle of a fight. Alright, Grunt. Remember, you hear beep boop. You go bang bang. Hi. Outgoing message log. Logged in, Gianna Talarasin. Attention all personnel, our new circuit board supplier has issued an immediate recall on the MX7552 4A obedience processor, which has been found to cause systematic breakdown of associated components. We have begun the search for a new supplier. In the meantime, discontinue use of the MX 75524A until further notice. Dr. Rochelle, Director, Hane Kedar Experimental Mechanics. Gianna, just FYI, we lost contact with the MSV Corsica. After you expressed concern, I checked the logs, and indeed, the mechs and parts they picked up contained the recalled OPUs. We know the Corsica was headed for a Jarahe station in the Strabo system, but we can't seem to contact them. I hope they're all okay, but I think we've done all we can do at this point. Tress. Dr. Talarasin, I'm getting reports of mechs coming off our production lines and assaulting workers. Some of them seem to be self-destructing at random. Even units not initially installed with the faulty OPU are showing signs of viral infection. We're looking at a potential facility-wide catastrophe here. We are containing this as best we can, but we can't keep this suppressed much longer. When Dr. Rochelle learns about this, heads will roll. 
Mine will not be one of them. Chief Saunders, security. Dr. Talarassin, Dr. Rochelle has ordered a complete lockdown. You are hereby ordered to seal the production line access corridor from the rest of the facility. I realize that doing this will seal me and any other workers who remain inside with the malfunctioning mechs. This does not affect your orders. It has been an honor to work with you. Chief Saunders, security. Hi. Bye. Man. I guess we can look at the bright side. No more people in this facility. It means there's no reason why we can't just blow it up and go on about our day, right? Seems deserted. Wonder if anyone's still here. Yeah, I wonder too. That's why we can't blow it up yet. Transcript log, security report. Officer Keith Gamble, security. Chief! Located the Asari, Dr. Talarassin, in the production line access corridor. Set up a barricade and disabled access to the rest of the corridor. Officer Gamble. Chief! I secured Dr. Talarassin and am heading into the warehouse to access the production line control room. I'll update you once I'm in. Gamble. Chief! I'm in the warehouse. Seems pretty empty, sir. I can see the control room just above the storage area. Might need a few minutes, but I'm pretty sure I can get that main production line shut down. Gamble. Well, Gamble. Seems you lost that gamble, Gamble. When the odds are against you that much, it's no time to gamble, Gamble. Then again, from time to time, Headed for combat. you gotta take your chances. You tell him, Grunt. Oh, tell me that was it. That wasn't it. Brood. Shep! I'm hearing a lot of beep boops, but not enough bang bangs. Alright. I think we're good. Beep boop. Bang bang. That's the order, okay? Also acceptable. Bang bang. We don't even need the beep boop. You can just think of the beep boop as a prompt for the bang bang. But it's not even necessary. Feel free to bang bang anytime you even anticipate a beep boop. All right, well, shut her down.
Oh, by robot. Shut down the Hane Kidar Experimental Mechanics Facility's production line on KPEC. Deactivated all infected mechs. Any day you get to blow up a bunch of robots is a good day in my book. I mean, it still doesn't tell us where the virus no came from. For you, Commander. No? Really? Well, I guess we're done with that. Even though we never figured out where the virus came from, where it originated. I guess it's not my concern. Though somebody should still contact OSHA. Anyway, I've got some crew to catch up with, space hamster to squeak, and some fish to feed. We've also got some upgrades that we should probably do. We've got these ship enhancements that uh, the crew has been bugging me about, so we should probably get around to them. We got some heavy ship armor, Normandy armor upgrade. The Asari made Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure. This will help the ship hold together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Which would probably be useful, you know? Given what happened to the last Normandy. And then we also have the Thanix Cannon, which is a Normandy weapon upgrade. The Turian designed Thanix Magnetic Hydronamic Cannon is now installed on the Normandy. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. Ooh. Well, I like the sound of that. Who wouldn't? We also have a medbay upgrade, which upgrades the Normandy's medical facilities with an advanced dermal regeneration unit. Using this unit will immediately and completely heal your scars. Further scarring will not occur regardless of the actions you take. I don't think that's really necessary, actually. But I mean, look at me. How could you improve on this? Sides, scars give character. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage. Overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Well, that is a good thing. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. Y you what now? You never considered other options? Hundreds, thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole. Violent. Aggressive. Still, have outliers. Worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy. Allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. No. What you did was still a war crime. That is genocide. It's just a slow genocide. Their species is dying off. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here, work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Yeah, well here's the thing, Doc. I actually don't want you on the team. Shepard, how can I help? Trying to make you go away. Have you got a minute to talk? 
Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? Um. Nope. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Yeah, of course you will. I assume everything is going well up here. Shh. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. What's wrong? They lost contact with New Canton. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Y you'll see. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. You kidding? Look at look around. There's plenty of stuff to steal. Anything that doesn't have my name on it, feel free. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the collectors. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open, not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Oh, no. No, keep going. I love puns. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching when he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. But they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. I knew this girl once. Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going. Until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Doesn't matter who you are. You got a gun in your face, chances are good you'll do what the other man says. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. Man, Zaid, I just asked if you liked ice cream. Such a simple question. Yes, I like ice cream. No, I don't. Did that say clean out dead fish? No! No! Are you kidding me? I fed them at the start of the episode. How often do you have to feed these things? Oh my goodness. You're still here, right? Okay, good. I don't have to feed you, do I? No, you got plenty of food in there. You're good. Oh, my poor fish. Alright, we're gonna have to end this episode on a very sad note. I am the worst. I mean, if you enjoyed the episode, except for this last part, feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, please remember to subscribe. 
But as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later. My fish won't, though. Dang it!